In this video, I bring you five must-get early OP pals. These consist of amazing base workers, pals that are OP in that battle, and everything in between you need in your life. Now, before we go any further, guys, I am giving away a couple of copies of Pal World, Xbox, and Steam. Now, if you win my giveaway and you play on Xbox, I'll simply buy you Game Pass if you don't have it already. Now, to be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed with notifications turned on. Good luck. So within my adventures across this massive open world, the open world that Power World offers, I've come across some incredible powers I feel you definitely need to know about. Some of these you can get relatively early on, others towards that mid game, uh, but let's get into it guys. So first up we have the beacon, this amazing thunderous bird which in my opinion is a lot like my other favourite eagle flyer the Ragnarok. As soon as I saw this I actually thought it was just the electric version and it kind of is in a way even though its description states it ain't. Now I had to get it guys and I'm so glad that I did. This thing really is great and being able to rain down thunder upon your enemies is very satisfying for sure. So this fly is also really quick, much faster than 99% of flyers in this game. So if its speed in the air is what you want, this one's definitely for you. So this bird does have a few decent working traits too, with a level 3 in transporting and a level 2 in generating electricity. So it has work options for you. You also get guys, electric applied to your attacks while you are riding this bird. So that's pretty cool. Now to get this bird people, it comes from a quite harsh part of the map. The top right where if you look at your map you can see right here on screen it looks like a snowy area but actually guys it's more of a desert but be warned it's freezing during the night and super warm during the day so armor will be required to survive up here. Now the average level up here of these birds is around 30 plus so bear that in mind. Now once you capture this thing you then can unlock its blueprint saddle which requires you to be a level 34 and to craft this thing you need 20 leather, 10 cloth, 20 ingots, 20 electric organs and 25 palladium fragments. So yeah guys get out there and go and get this amazing legendary bird you will not be disappointed. Next up guys we have the beast known as the blaze howl. Now this fire type monstrosity hits like an absolute truck so be warned it doesn't matter what level you are. Now up here where they're actually found guys the average level of this is around that 35 so do bear that in mind. Now this pal upon you mounting it becomes almost like a tank. Super heavy hitting but nowhere near the quickest mount out there. What I will say is this thing in battle is unreal so tanky and capable of some destructive things for sure. Now when it comes to its work suitability it does offer a level 3 in that kindling and a level 2 in lumbering so pretty good here at the same time. Now there's also a knocked version of this thing which I'm yet to catch but I'm on the hunt for it. You may also have noticed people that when you defeat Guras type pals while riding this dude they drop more items a great bonus for sure. So this thing is located exclusively within the bottom left of the map. Now the area is like a desert, it's hot and will require that heat resistant armor but it's definitely worth it. There's other great pals down here that you don't want to miss. So once you catch this thing its saddle unlocks for you at level 32. And this is what I actually love about this thing the most, it just pummels over those lower leveled pals making farming their loot a walk in the park and somewhat satisfying at the same time. So yes guys if this is your thing get out here and get this monstrosity of a pal, you won't be disappointed. Next up guys we have a pal I spoke about in a video from yesterday, the Dig Toys. Now this one's a more popular one that I've seen quite a few people talk about but I thought I'd include it for the people who are not aware of this. It's the ultimate mining pal, it just gets to work like nothing I've seen in the game so far. So upon you catching this thing, its blueprint unlocks at around a level 19, uh, it means most people can take advantage of this early game. So this badass looking turtle has a level 3 in that mining but it gets 
better if you are farming any form of rock with it with its headband saddle well i say saddle uh, you can't actually ride this thing but what it unlocks is a shell spin attack which gets to work on those rocks even better it's definitely a must-have pal for farming rocks people that's for sure so to get this thing it's also pretty easy now there are a couple of locations on the map uh, where you can come to but i truly recommend the center point uh, you can see here there's a few roaming around and they're roughly around a level 20. they're pretty slow too so you can take them down from afar but yeah guys don't skip over this dude in fact catch a few of them it's something i actually need to do myself Next up guys, we have an amazing grab mount called Rayhound. So the Rayhound is an electric dog beast type pal, who upon first looking at it, doesn't seem all that, but it's way better than it looks guys. So in regards to its work suitability, isn't anything we haven't seen before, only offering a level two in that electric generation. But this isn't why it's on this list. He's so because of how he feels to mount. He's super fast, has absolutely amazing attacks. He's like a truck for such a small dude and can also double jump, which is quite cool and unique. Not many pals in this game have this ability. So this amazing pal is located top right of the map. If you come up here, uh, you'll see quite a few of these, I won't lie, and they ain't too hard to catch either. This is why I'm surprised at how good it actually is. The only issue is the area is kind of hostile, so be careful and make sure you have both heat resistant and cold resistant armor, as up here it's both cold and hot, so be careful. So once you have caught one guys, its saddle unlocks for you at a level 26, and to craft it it requires 20 leather, 40 fiber, 20 ingots, 15 electric organs, and 25 pallium fragments, so not too bad whatsoever and definitely worth your time in my opinion one of the better and more fun grand mounts in the game okay so lastly for today's video guys we have another insane flyer and its name is suzaku so this legendary bird is just an all-out beast there ain't many flyers that will top this dude that's for sure now this dude is a real hard catch also it requires arguably the best spheres in the game and you'll have your work cut out for you if it ain't that of a high level. Now upon riding him, I had to get used to this dude as the animation of him hovering on the spot is the same as him flying at full speed. It doesn't actually change position, it just flaps his wings a little faster. Uh, which I will add also guys, he isn't the fastest fly in the game by a long shot. But in regards to the damage output, I don't have anything stronger than this dude and I've got most flying mounts in the game. So in regards to its work suitability offers a level 3 in that kindling so it also has its base purposes too but to be honest i added this dude to this list purely because of how hard it hits now what i actually do is i fly around on my ragnarok or my beacon uh, but also have this dude in my party as it's just so much more effective in taking out those harder targets so this guy, like a few powers I've covered today, is strictly seen within the top right of this map where it's freezing cold at night and super hot during the day, so armor will be required up here. So when it comes to catching this dude, he will put up quite a battle and as you can see, I just about scraped him and got away with it. So if you do catch this dude, his saddle becomes available at a level 40 and requires 20 leather, 25 refined ingots, 20 flame organs and 40 pallium fragments. So the saddle alone will take a small grind to craft. But yeah, for me guys, it's 100% worth it as this dude really is something great. So yes, if you can, come and get this thing. And there we have it guys, five more amazing pals you need to catch. Now if you missed my previous video where I covered 5 others, you'll find that link down below. But there we have you guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.